in this tutorial we will create this piston and ring we will have to create this object using revolve command for that at first we will have to create this hatching portion to switch to 3d modeling click here select 3d modeling click on se isometric and give the ucs icon command no origin enter and from here select shaded with edges now this portion we want to create on right plane from here change the plane to right then at first we will create this half portion of 8 12 take the line command give the first point make ortho on zoom it then here the length is 8 height is 6 again 12 6 10 here length is 8 then take it down that is 6 enter then here 12 enter again 6 then 5 we will take the half enter then we will mirror it click on modify and select the mirror mirror select object enter give the first point give the second point enter then this vertical line the length of this vertical line will be 198 minus 38 divided by 2 it is 198 minus 38 divided by 2 that is 80 take the line command give the first point take your cursor down give the height of 80 enter then enter now this inclined line is a taper line which has a taper of 1 in 8 to work out that taper we will have to divide this 50 with the 8 then that will be the taper on the diameter we will just perform it it is 50 then divided by taper of 8 enter then this is 6.25 now this taper is on the diameter now we will have to apply it on radius therefore it will be half of this divided by 2 that is 3.125 we will just offset this line by 50 distance give the O enter give the distance of 50 select this line on this side enter and from here we will have to come down by the distance of 3.125 give the line command L enter take this point take your cursor below and give the length of 3.125 enter and connect this point to this point enter and next will be the offset this offset is of 20 distance offset this line by 20 give the o enter give the distance of 20 enter offset it above enter and next is this again 20 offset again offset this line offset 20 is there enter select this line on this side enter then this is also 20 offset enter this line 20 enter then connect all these lines using fillet give the fillet now here fillet is not specified we will take it 3 fillet give the radius of 3 enter then select this line and this line enter this line and this line enter this line and this line then here connect one line line enter from this point to this point enter then the revolution axis will be at a distance of half of the 38 from here take the line command track the point take the cursor below and give the distance of 19 enter and create one horizontal line now this object needs to be connected click on modify and click on join and select all the objects then press enter if we check it single object is not created we will have to join it again click on join select all the object again enter ok now all the objects are connected escape then give the revolve command click here and select revolve then select object to revolve this one enter then click on this object and select this object then give the angle now if you want to create sectional like this then we will have to give the angle of 90 plus 90 plus 90 that is 270 give the angle of 270 enter make the grid off 
and next is this ring this ring is of 6 by 12 we will create one rectangle of 6 by 12 take the rectangle command give the first point then give the dimension the length will be 12 and height will be 6 and click the point then outside diameter of the ring is 200 that is from top line up to the center will be 100 just take the line command take from the top point and give the distance of 100 enter and create one horizontal line in x direction enter and move it on the side and revolve this again revolve select this object to revolve enter object click on this object and give the angle of 360 degree then for ring there is this cut is there of 3 gap a line is there at 45 degree angle take the line command then give the length we will take a bigger length we will take the length of 50 then press tab button then give the angle of 45 degree enter then make ortho on give the length of 3 enter again take the line command from here take your cursor above and give the length of 3 and connect it to this portion enter then press pull this portion press pull take your cursor inside then click there and give length of 30 escape we will put it here move it click on move select the object enter take this bottom end point and put it on the quadrant then we need to cut this portion for that use the subtract command click on this subtract select object to subtract from this object enter select object to subtract enter now this cut is created erase this portion by double clicking you can assign the different colors escape that's all thanks for watching we will stop here